Hey, it's Sutman196 here. <clears throat> so I have a cold. And I'm going to be teaching you how to make a, a V for Vendetta Halloween costume. And uh, it is a very cool uh, costume once you get it put together and everything. Because it's, it's pretty sick. It's, it's pretty crazy. Like, it, it, you put, depending on, like, how tall you are or whatever, you might actually look um, look like him. And, like, you can do some, like, pretty cool tricks and stuff. You can look up, like, parkour or something. <laughs> You know, I'm like, be the V friend at a parkour or whatever. Anyways, <laughs> let's get started. Um, what you're going to need is you're going to need a, a V for Vendetta mask. I made mine. So, um, you can go on YouTube and type in how to make a V for Vendetta mask. And mine should be up there. If mine's not, then there's another person who I got mine off of. Except he makes his, out of, he makes his eyebrows and mustache and the, uh, We'll go tea out of clay. I don't, I do kind of completely different from him because I paint mine, make mine look all cooler. He just leaves his white, but you can check his out because it's pretty cool. Um, yeah, you're just going to need a V Vendetta mask. It can be, it can be an actual one that you can get from a store. It doesn't really matter, but if you want to save money, you can get one of these for $4 and you can get Sharpie and you can paint it and you can do everything else. So, you're going to need that. Um, you're going to need some black. Long johns, which are like a very, they're like pajamas, but they're like, they're like tight. You know, you usually wear them underneath like pants or something whenever you go out to like a, go skiing or do something in the wood, in the snow. That, or you could have some uh, black dress pants. Um, I honestly suggest the long johns. Make sure to get them like a couple, maybe like one or two sizes bigger than you. So they're not too, so they're not too tight. But then again, they're not too, um, too loose so either one doesn't really matter whatever one you have whatever one you can afford or whatever you're gonna need a um a black um dress shirt and i if you don't really know what a dress shirt is it's like that white one right there that's mine just black and you're gonna want to put up the uh little um collar things right here as you can see these things instead of being like like bent backwards like that they're up because that gives, because, uh, like his mask, like his, uh, shirt, like, is tightened like that. So it's pretty, that's pretty cool. <laughs> um, you're gonna need some sort of hat. Some sort of black hat. Man, everything is black, man. It's dark. You can barely see anything, like some sort of top hat or, you can actually get a V Vendetta hat, it doesn't matter. <laughs> and you're gonna need a, a belt. <laughs> Just a black belt. And uh, what you're gonna do with the belt, I don't really have my supplies right now because I'm not really prepared and um, all you're going to need to do really with the belt <laughs> and sorry I have a cold my bad sorry um, is you're going to want to um, cut out some strings like cut out um, like uh, get get like a long length of string and cut it into a couple different pieces like let's say like this is the belt right here you're going to put like one string set right there, and then right there, right there, right there, right there, and there. And do that about five or six times. And then you're going to want to go on YouTube and look up like how to make like a like a paper dagger or go out and buy a paper uh, uh, or out and go or go out and buy like a plastic dagger. Um like a they might sell them at like a Halloween store or something you can go on their website. You can buy like a couple plastic daggers or whatever. <laughs> you don't really need a lot of them. You can you Depends on what, like what, like if you want to really look like him or just like have a couple sides to your, just have a couple of daggers to your side. Doesn't really matter. Whatever you choose, get however much daggers you want. You can have a hundred. You can have four. It really doesn't bother me at all. <clears throat> and you're gonna want some uh, some long black socks. My socks really aren't long, but you're gonna want them pretty long. And uh, you the reason I mean. The reason I would suggest black socks is because um, um, black uh, black boots are kind of hard to find and they're kind of expensive, and especially the really really long ones they like go up to almost your knees. Things can be pretty expensive, but um, well really, I mean yeah, you're gonna need some long black socks and some dress shoes, just some nice dress shoes, right? Like just like this, and um, you're gonna want to ask your parents if um. If uh, you're allowed to, man, sorry, my cold's bad. Um, if you're gonna want to, if you're allowed cutting into your pretty long black socks, if you are allowed to, like um, you see the open end 
Well, there's a non-opened end, obviously, because there's socks right there. You're going to want to cut that, the non-opened end part. You're going to want to cut that just about, about a, about a half an inch or so. Um, and then you're going to want to, like, uh, you know, just, like, stretch it out. You know, like, like, uh, like, stretch it out, whatever, you know, just do whatever you with it, stretch it out. And then, um, you're going to want to put your black boots on. Well, no, first of all, you're going to want to put... I haven't cut my socks yet, but, like, you're going to want to put your... One second, my bad, sorry. You're going to want to put your black socks on and your black boot, uh, black dress shoes. Now, your dress shoes will not be harmed in this in this making, but it's not... Trust me, it's not going to look like this, but... Because it'll look more like uh, it's attached to the dress shoe. And, um, yeah... Like, if with the socks, since it's already cut into, you might want to, like, um, maybe paint another, maybe, like, paint a layer of black onto there to make it look like your dress shoe. Make it look like a shiny, like, black dress shoe. Yeah, you're going to want to do that. And for the gloves, I mean, it really doesn't matter what kind of gloves you have because his are long. But, I mean, he's wearing that long sleeve dress shirt, so it really doesn't matter, like, um, what kind of gloves you use. I mean, you can buy V for Vendetta gloves. I mean, they're like $15, so I would suggest just like getting regular the long uh, black gloves like uh, at a Halloween store. Hopefully they're like 5 or $6. If they're more than that, I don't know. If they're more than that, just get a, just go out to a hardware store or whatever and just get some, uh, just get some black gloves and it'll, and uh, you can, um, you can get like a sock and cut it in half and add on to the glove on the, um, part where you stick your hand in there so it makes it look a little bit more longer. Um, you can do whatever you want, but, um, yeah, um, um, let's see, is that it? <laughs> yep, that's it. This is Stuntman196 signing out. Bye.